Hi folks, I'm Meath with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're out here at Back to the 50s Car Show, and we are here uh, with Brad, and we're here with this beautiful 1955 Chrysler New Yorker wagon. And this was a special, a, a, a different edition, so what was the trim level on this one? Well, it's a town and country deluxe New Yorker. There we go. Uh, Brad, thank you for spending your time with us and talking about your car. All right, so let's, let's come on over here, just in the front here. I absolutely love this. Now, you, when you got the car, was this in this condition? Well, it, yeah, I mean, basically, it was original paint on it, and the chrome had, you know, a little bit of pitting in it, and the, and the bumpers were, you know, dulled down. Right. Normal wear and tear on a car from that age. But uh, How yeah. many miles did it, the odometer say when you picked it up? Uh, it, it showed 13,000, a little over 13,000. Okay, and so when you went through the car after you got it, and you looked at various components saying, does this all match up? Tell us what you told me earlier about the interior, how it was kept. Uh, when we got it, the interior had been covered in, in plastic completely. Uh, the carpets were still there and good. Um, the, the material was starting to break down a little bit, seams, stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, it looked very good. We just wanted to redo it because we, you know, we wanted to be able to drive it. Okay, and and we'll get to the interior in a little bit, and we'll get yeah. some detail on that. But these, like for instance, uh, the chrome work. Now, did you have the chrome redone? Yes. Okay. Yep. We redid all the stainless and chrome. So I, I absolutely love the hood ornament. Yeah. That that it's is great, beautiful. Isn't it? And you had somebody redo these the badges front and back. Yes. Okay. Uh, a company called Emblem Magic. I found them on the internet, and they did a real good job for me. That looks fantastic. It, yeah. I mean, it's a really good replica of it. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Is it the original motor under the yep. hood? Completely original. Could you open up the hood and we'll take a look Absolutely. at the original motor, but you've done a few things. Yeah, I mean, we we basically have uh, rebuilt everything in it, okay? So the we rebuilt the entire cooling system, the mm -hmm. radiator, the heater control valve, um, the water pump. It's actually got a transmission cooler on it. That was rebuilt. Um, uh, rebuilt the power steering unit, which runs off the back of the generator. It's still a six volt positive ground system. Okay. Um, put all new wiring in the whole car, right. uh, new cloth wiring, and rebuilt the uh, the power booster for the uh, brakes. Man. Now, um, unlike some other uh, New Yorker uh, wagons, you had some extra power features on this one you, that you had not run across before. Um, yeah, well, I haven't, I haven't seen all of them on a same car. Right. I've seen power windows before, I've seen power seats before, but this one has power steering, power brakes, power windows, and power seats. Wow. Man, all back in 1955. Yeah. Let's walk around the side for a little bit. I, I absolutely love the lines on here. Now, you had the car repainted? Yes, we repainted the car. And would these have been, as, as much as close as you know, original colors for the car? Yes, yep, Okay. the exact colors. I love the stripe that goes down the middle. Yeah. I mean that, and then with the, I don't know if you call that a cream white or an off white, but it yeah, is. Yeah, we call it peach. peach. Uh, that's the best I can do. <laughs> right there. I don't know the factory name. I'm talking about this color though, right here. Yeah. This, that, that, that's what they're calling a peach color. No, the, I'm talking okay, about the other color. That's the other, okay. Yeah, this is an off white. The an the off white, but it, it yeah. is such a, it's not a brilliant white. I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but I really like it. It's subtle with that peach colored stripe going down the middle yeah now the the tires um those i'm assuming you've replaced obviously yeah. you would they're want radios to drive on them yep. okay uh and then I, I like the door handles and the and the door locks i mean just look at the little details here so this is yeah. the guard oh. so you just open that up and then you could see that you put the key in okay yep. and then the door handle so in other words Tesla took their door handles <laughs> off of a 1955 Chrysler New Yorker wagon. Uh, okay, that is just way cool. So if you push on here, the handle comes out. There you go, Tesla, eat your hearts out. Okay, so let's, while we're here, let's talk about the door because you only redid. We only replaced the cloth. This is all original. Man. 
We did wow. repaint these because they had the typical arm wear. Yeah. But this has not been touched. This is the original paint on here, the original gaskets. Really? These yep. are the original gaskets? Oh, yeah. sure. Yep. You can see right up in there. Yep. I have not replaced that. Dust. Wow. So you can see down there, you've got the wear on, on the feet. And I didn't, we haven't painted the jam, so you can see the color was the same, right? Now, it's interesting, I just, little details, but your floor plate, your, your door sill. Yeah. It has, I mean, it's wide, but then it has an extra little piece that goes yeah. towards the seat after the, I mean, it's just little details. Yeah. Okay, so on the dashboard up here, um, you, this, these are all original gauges? Yes. Everything's okay. everything's as we got it. And uh, it was uh, an automatic. Correct. And the shifter was that column we see in the middle of the dashboard, that right? It's just coming down. Okay. Um, did this car have a park position in the gear selector, or was it? It didn't. You just no. put it in drive and set the brake or something. Yes. It was. It, yeah. It's it's just you put it in the neutral. Okay. And then it's got a a almost like a drum brake, a small drum brake on the on the back end of the transmission and that's your emergency it does not run to the rear drums like a, really like other cars do yeah interesting so it breaks the transmission yeah huh right where the drive shaft joins the transmission okay very interesting and then now the, i'm assuming the the passenger was not obviously important enough to control the seat yeah because the spread. power seat controls must be on the driver's side correct okay but they do have their power windows yeah man that is just immaculate i just oh Wow. Now, if that isn't amazing enough, we come to the second row, because did this ever have a third row? Not that I know of. Okay, no, so I don't this think is, they offered that, no. This is a land yacht with two rows. That's right. Okay, if you look from here with the, with the second row folded down to where the rear door is closed, this is the size of a full-size pickup, modern pickup bed. Yeah, you could sleep in there, yeah. You could sleep in there. You could carry 25 sheets of uh, four by eight plywood in there and still be comfortable. I, I love just that detail. I mean, look how thick this wood is yeah. that goes behind the seat. I mean, there was no way you were ever going to damage your seat with no. this folded down. And then you have the glide rails. Now, did you redo the glide rails right no. in here? No, nope, that's Those are original. I never touched them. And this is original, and we never touched this. Wow. So the paint on the wood is all original. Man. Uh, and, and of course, it's a 50-50 it's a split. The other side would fold down as Correct. well. Correct, yes. Okay, so, I mean, that is just... I love the chrome grab handles. Yeah. And then, of course, that, that would be an ashtray in the middle of, of the bed sheet. With a yeah. lighter. With the, oh, it has this light. <laughs> well, this was the deluxe, yeah. right? Yeah. You wouldn't want your guests going out without a lighter. Right. Okay, uh, coming to the back here, just take a look at all this chrome. I mean, I know it's all been redone, but it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, just, do, do, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Do you ever sit and just look at the car? And uh, just, actually, yes. I mean, I... Yeah. I it's mean, like I, a piece of art. It is. I, I just, I'm amazed at the styling. This, <laughs> I bet it rides good. It does. It rides wonderful. Okay. Uh, at the back here, uh, you do have a crank window? Correct. Okay. Can you show us how that works? Oh, wow. It just goes up real easy. Yeah. And then, uh, can we open up the tailgate? Sure. So uh, it, it, it's, it's always interesting to note on older vehicles, some of the things that we've gotten rid of in modern vehicles, um, but you know, all the, all the points here where you, a kid could pinch their fingers, <laughs> yeah. you know, the big hood ornament in the front, they would never be allowed. But look at this. I mean, you just, I mean, you've added like two and a half feet of space. You know, now, now they sell pickups with those gates that go around. You just fold out your bed and there you go. You got yeah. guards on the side. Yeah. Man, and this is all original. Yes, this we this repainted. We repainted this piece. Okay, but none of that. But none and, of the wood on it. So no. this is metal here. But no, that's all. Is this that, is wood. Oh, also. that's correct. Okay, that is wood. Okay. Yep. Um, now underneath, there's obviously we won't ask you to open this, but underneath here, there's an opening. What's stored it's underneath a, it's there? It's a well for a spare tire. Okay. Well, they certainly give you plenty of room. Although yep. you'd have to crawl a mile to get to it. <laughs> you might fall asleep while you're doing it. 
Wow, that is just, just beautiful. Great picnic car. Yeah, it is. I mean, uh, yeah, we enjoy it, and we use it for that. Quite and, oh, you do? Okay, well, I could just imagine you could sit on there and have a full uh, table yeah, yeah. right there. Just amazing. Uh -huh. So when you uh, when you bought this car, Brad, were you, were you looking for a station wagon? I mean, had you always wanted a station wagon? It's just a little bit more unusual of a, of a car. Yeah, truthfully, we have a thing for station wagons. We've got two of them. Okay. Um, and I'd have more, quite frankly. But we were, we were looking for this body style specific. Okay. And we did find it on, on eBay. And, and, and the car came out of which state again? California. California, Northern okay. California. And then you just had it shipped back up here, and That's then, correct. and then, uh, and now, as far as all the work went, you you have an auto body shop. Yes. Um, so did did you do some of the work on this car, or did your auto body shop do it for you? Well, I did I did all the body and fit, and okay. then my painter painted it, obviously. Okay. Well, kudos to your painter because he did a great job. Yeah, he was. My phenomenal. gosh, you look along, you know, all the rails on the roof and everything, and it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So. Brad, what is one of your favorite memories with this car? Whoa. One single favorite memory. No, it, can be, <laughs> it doesn't have to be. It can be one of many favorites. Well, I, I, you know, we, we go um, to Interstate Park in Wisconsin, and we go down to Stockholm and Lake Pepin, and we spend the day down there in the parks, and we picnic, and uh, I think that's probably it, the day that... We drive it and we enjoy driving it. And we, you know, we'll put 200 miles on it in a day. Um, and then relax, <laughs> and then <laughs> quite have frankly, fun. yeah. I, I'm not sure you probably get much privacy when you're picnicking, whenever people walk, walk across you. It gets but, attention. Uh, right? it, it sure does, but I mean, that's what the car was for, was for a family, and yeah. that's just so cool. What a great memory and that it involves your family. Brad, thank you so much for sharing your time and your story and your beautiful uh, 1955 Preston New Yorker wagon with us. What a beautiful car you've done. Great. Such a great job restoring it. Many happy more memories with your family Appreciate and this it. car. All right. Thanks for watching.